What does a compact tractor, a toy tractor, and Varnberg implement have in common? Today we're going to explain a feature of, a, of all tractors is the three-point hitch. One of the features of a three-point hitch system is you have hydraulic raise but gravity fall. We get the question a lot of times, and it doesn't matter if it's a 1700E, the new 4700 Global Series, it has external hydraulic cylinders. These are one-way cylinders that is going to raise the implement. And you can see right here, this hydraulic line is only putting oil at the base of the cylinder. So it's hydraulic raise, gravity fall. Very few tractors even have ever had hydraulic down pressure. Why would you not want hydraulic down pressure? That is where our 8690 toy tractor here, scale model, is going to come into handy because without a tractor that has down pressure, it's hard to simulate. One of the things with hydraulic down pressure, if you put pressure on the, down, the hydraulics, you could you can lose traction on your tractor the implement's going to push down hit the ground here but it's going to raise the rear rear wheels off the tractor and you'll lose your traction that is the reason you will not find hydraulic down pressure on a tractor because it raises the back end you lose your traction and it basically causes more problems. now one of the things especially with a compact tractor is implements a lot of people want hydraulic down pressure because they have a light implement like a rear blade that we have situated right here uh, a rear blade if it's really light it's just going to bounce across the hard ground we've got a big heavy duty box blade here and that's one thing when you're shopping for blades is look at the weight of that implement if it's a lightweight implement on a big tractor it, it it's going to probably bounce across the, the ground and not do the job you're looking for. That is one of the reasons we handle Rhino Ag products is because you look at the beefiness. This is our lightest duty blade. Look at all the metal in it. It's got the metal to put the weight to the ground to get the work done. Same way with our box blade here. We're going to fire it up, show you that it doesn't have hydraulic down pressure and why you don't want hydraulic down pressure on your tractor because when the when the force goes down and pushes down too hard it's going to raise the rear wheels now you we're going to come over here to the tractor you have a raise in a lower position so we lower the three point and it's going to go down to the ground we're going to pull it up and it's going to hydraulic raise so you can see here we're lowering the implement and gravity is just taking it down once it hits the ground, it's on the ground, and the implement, weight of the implement is going to is what's going to do work. The heavier your implement, the more work you're going to do. For example, on this box blade, you've got scarifier teeth. In the current position, they're raised up. But you lower this, those teeth are going to help, going to help pull that implement into the ground to do work. But your blades back here are going to be controlled by the how heavy duty the implement is built. You buy a light duty implement, it's just going to bounce across the ground. You buy a good heavy duty implement that matches the tractor, it's going to be able to do more work. That's what your dealer's for, is to help you match the right implements to the right tractor to get the right jobs done. At Varnberg Implement, that's what we try to do, is custom build a package that best fits your needs and your job. So if you want to just raise it up part way, you can raise it up but it's going to be hydraulic raise and gravity fall on all the tractors that are produced today. There were some old models of internationals that had hydraulic down pressure. That was the reason they got away from it was because it took the traction off of the rear wheels when you pushed down with it. One thing that you find on a lot of tractors is this knob right here. It's got a rabbit and a turtle and a, it's got a lock here. What's that do? You increase the flow, it's going to fall fast. That's gravity fall faster. 
still hydraulic raise. Now we're going to restrict it the other direction. Watch how much slower. See how it slowed it down? That slows the gravity fall of the hydraulic system. So it's a flow control. Watch this. Turn it and lock. It don't move. That stops the fall so you can transport an implement. It's a transport lock. That is available on most compact tractors is that valve right there. So if your implement don't, don't fall, watch. As I open that valve, look at how it increased. You can smooth out your implement so it falls the speed you want it to fall. We hope that helped you learn a little bit more about three-point hitch systems on today's modern tractors. If you hydraulic down pressure is going to lift that back in and take your traction away. Hydraulic three-point hitch systems are only hydraulic raise gravity fall. I hope that helped you learn more about tractors and the basics of tractors and how the three-point system operates. If you live in West Central Missouri, come visit us at Missouri 13 Highway and, highway, and Business Highway 13 or Fairground Avenue in Higginsville. We got everything from subcompacts to high horsepower tractors, implements, and more. We're your local Massey Ferguson dealer, and we would appreciate your business. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe our videos. Uh, if you have comments, put them down below. We will try to answer every question that we can help you with. If you're outside of the West Central Missouri area, please visit MasseyFerguson.com and re locate your local dealer there. Thank you, and tune in next time as we go more in depth about the awesome products from Massey Ferguson and Rhino Ag.